complement of one is five, complement of two is eight, three is seven, four is six, five is five. Let's start. I already told you we have to go from the left hand side. So nine minus two is seven. Eight minus three is five. Six minus three is three. Five minus two is one. Isn't it simple? Fine. Then eight minus six is two. Nine minus seven is two. Five minus five is zero. Zero minus zero is zero. Okay. I have completed it very fast. Now next, here again I will go in from the left hand side. So here, five minus three is two, six minus two is four, five minus eight. See, now here it is tough to subtract, pick on subtract. So what I have to do is I have to reduce the previous number by one. It becomes three, and complement of eight. Check it and say complement of eight is two. So two plus five is seven, right? Seven. Then seven minus five is two. So here the answer is two, three, seven, two. If you want, if you have a doubt in your numbers, in your answer, you can reach it. What you have to do is to reach it. Just mental addition. What is the addition of these two? Three plus two is five. Here three plus two. Again five, but whereas eight plus seven is coming, so it is fifteen. So one this side comes, so five becomes six. Six five, then five plus two is seven. So your answer is right. This way you can check. Now I'll go for one more example. See here, again same as the left hand side way. Seven minus three is four. Zero minus one, I can't do right. So I have to reduce it this by three. And the complement of one is what is that? Check it and say it's nine. Fine. So it's nine, but I have to add that nine with the zero. So it is nine only. Zero plus nine is nine. So I have to add nine. Then three minus six. So I can't do that. Again, I have to reduce this by one. So it becomes eight. And complement of six is four. Four plus three is seven. Right? Then. Six minus eight, I can't do that. So again, I have to reduce it by one. So it this becomes six. And complement of eight is two. So two plus six is eight. So our answer is three, eight, six, eight. To check your answer, you can just add it. Three plus three, six. So one more extra I have to get. One plus eight, nine. One more I have to get. Six plus six is twelve. So one this side comes. Then again, you see, eight plus eight is sixteen. So one will be preceded in this. Right? Your answer will be right. Five kids. Now we will go to the higher side. Right? First, let let us name this number. What is the number? Six lakh seventy five thousand four hundred thirty nine. What is this number? Thirty two thousand four hundred sixteen. I am going to subtract. Thirty-two thousand four hundred and sixteen from six lakh seventy-five thousand four hundred thirty-eight. Let's start the same way from the left hand side. We are starting. So six, nothing is here. So same six you can put it. Seven minus three, it's simple, right? It's four. Five minus two, simple. It's three. Four minus four, nothing. So zero. Three minus one is two. Nine minus six is three. See how much big number is this? On fraction of second, you have completed. It's like this. Max is very simple. Next, again here we subtract. Five minus four is one. Seven minus eight. So seven minus eight means eight is bigger than one. What I have to do is I have to reduce this number. If I reduce this one, this becomes zero. And here complement of eight is. Check the complement of eight. It is two. So two plus seven is nine. And three minus five then again smaller number and bigger number. So you have to reduce this by one. This becomes eight. So complement of five is again five. So five plus three is eight. After that any number is there? No. So same eight will come and same five will come. So these are zero. So the final answer will be eight, 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 five. You can add these two and check your answer. Right, kids? 
and today we are common is senior work you have to complete the exercise 2.6 this is your homework today the mannerism kids in your home your mommy papa your brothers and sisters will be having some things with their phone right uh, let's suppose they are having uh, their mobile phone right mobile phone it is there in in a shelf so you should not just like that go and pick up this mobile phone right you have to get the permission from your parent if it is your father's mobile you have to get permission from your father if it is your uh, elder sister's mobile you have to get the permission from them then you have to take the mobile and use it otherwise you should not use others things without their permission okay kids okay take care kids